live. Hi, everybody. We're live again from San Francisco. What's and we up, have people? our esteemed guest, esteemed. Stefan Kunz. Yes. We're very excited to have you. Thank you for having and me. And where are you joining us from? Um, well, I'm here in San Francisco next to you, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but where did you come from? Um, I came from Sydney, but I'm from Switzerland. Wow. Okay. If you're from Australia or Switzerland, let us know in the chat. And I'm sure we're going to have people from all over the world, yes. which is great. So I was initially introduced to you through Instagram because yes. you popped up and then I immediately followed you and I've been following you for a while. Do you so remember I think, when? I think it was like um, seven or eight months ago. Wow. Maybe a year, but I don't think it was. Just trying to remember what I was doing at that time. Because like, you know how you yeah. progress in your like design life? Just keep on doing new work. And then you yeah. see like, I was doing a lot of chalk walls back then. I guess. Yeah, it was a lot of, um, a lot of tactile objects. Yeah. That I think that's what initially drew me to it was like, whoa, he's drawing on like laptops and yeah. shoes and everything. So that's really cool. Daniel says he bought a Swiss Army knife in Australia. Does that count? That absolutely counts yes. for... Yes, um, that's very special. That That's me in a sense. It's like Swiss Army knife and in Australia. <laughs> Hi, Deborah, Andrew, Esther, Kristen, Nadia, Yuri. Thanks for joining. So we're going to start on Adobe Sketch. Yep. Sketching. So should I tell them what we're planning to do, what the concept yeah, is? Yeah, I think you should. OK. So prior to this um, live set that we're doing right here, we actually talked about what we're planning to do in these three sessions. And um, what I love to do, and haven't been doing as much as I wanted to, is create a picture um, like my like the one that I did with uh, Adobe Max, where I like throw playing cards in the air mm -hmm. and uh, just write that with the elements. And so what we're doing today in this two-hour session is actually brainstorm what kind of ideas we wanted to like make live, um, how we can actually like what do we have to look out for, and first sketch a concept, and that's kind of it, I think. So we should Great. be able to do that in two hours or less. Um, we'll fill the time out as best as we can. And we're just going to have fun doing it. So Definitely. any ideas for whatever I should throw in the air or quotes that I could use? Uh, for example, like eat healthy is one that I wanted to try out for one. So it's like um, you go While around. While I eat candy. Egg, well, <laughs> we just found those. <laughs> it's uh, like Becca It's Clayson's, a preview of yeah. Becca. She's, she's coming up next and she's she bought like a whole bag. We went yesterday into the store and bought a whole bag of sweets. And um, they thought it was Halloween, but it wasn't. So it's like <laughs> Becca just doing her thing. You're like, it's Halloween in Australia. <laughs> okay. So the one thing is usually I try to have either me or someone in the frame. If, if it's someone else is taking the picture, then I like to be in the frame. And just either throwing something in the air and then you can um, either write like it would be an easy word and you have to make it like uh, like readable like it's easy to read so the, the words the letters have to be easy mm -hmm. made and then out of those letters here you start like creating like um, shapes like a banana like a I don't know watermelon um, pineapple apples kiwis whatever you can find right now and then you can have vegetables like a broccoli and you start filling those in and so you I'm trying to think of a concept that could work well for that we can shoot tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So the better you plan out, the easier we'll go for the next step. And that's what we are trying to figure out, plus what we're going to write that will make it amazing. Because like writing coffee with coffee beans, like I think we've seen that already everywhere. Yeah, pretty obvious. Lettuce, uh, peppers. Marshall said it's his lucky day and he, he might win the lottery because he just came randomly to Adobe Live and he found you. Who? Marshall, he's watching. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm awesome. I'm just telling you what's happening oh, in the chat. Good. So just take my word for it, whatever I tell you. <laughs> whatever I tell you. Oh, tell me more things. Then. <laughs> Laura met you in Berlin and she's from Germany. Yeah, we had like a creative meetup like oh, last cool. time I was there. So that was really fun. I think I met her there. Yeah. 
So we're getting suggestions for fruits and vegetables already. But I'm not sure if we want to do fruits Yeah, and that vegetables. was just a random we, we can, thought. We can do it with Skittles. Like, I can actually take whatever Becca is taking, and we're going to just, like, take her stuff while she's working, throw that in the air, put it back on. That will mess I'm her sure entire shoot. I'm sure she will shoot. love that. It will mess up her entire shoot. But I think that would be actually, well, for me, it would be fun for her. She's laughing in the background because she's setting up for the for the work afterwards. <laughs> but that wouldn't be fair to her. So let me just hide that layer. So this is one idea. So let's, um, so what we sh should we narrow it down first? Like, should we, I, w I always have a hard time. Like, this is really the, when I do personal projects and personal mm -hmm. work, I have the hardest time to actually narrow down like quotes that I want to write about, yeah. um, kind of the materials that I want to use. But the more co uh, refined it is, the more the easier it gets for me to do something. So. Yeah, I agree. The hardest part for me is thinking of an idea, and if it's given to me, it's so much easier. Yeah. Um, well, we can think of a few phrases and ask you guys in the chat if you have any suggestions for should it be two words nothing too long right it could be like it could be a mix of a few things like for example eat healthy it could be like eat um the word eat that be thrown up and then healthy like uh, either have it on the background like do a sketch and photoshop that in later mm -hmm. um yeah i can see a lot of options here but anything that will work perfectly fear not is one but then fear fear is a hard word to actually how do you visualize fear hmm. with objects? That's a hard one. That's pretty abstract. Don't forget to breathe. Throw your fears. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, let us know what what kinds of phrases you think would be cool to do. Like I did one that was play. We had like, um, I was like throwing with uh, tennis balls. Mm -hmm. So you have that, uh, that word play and those, those tennis balls were actually really easy because you have like, a ball is always round. The light comes always from um, from one side, so you have it like this, and it will always drop the shadow on the same way. The only thing that would change a lot would be kind of where the the ball, like the shape of the ball. Yeah. So you recognize that's a tennis ball. So, but you throw six of those in the air, and then you have like different ways, and the shadow is always at the same same point, and then you can just like place them all around. Plus, um, I don't know if we have a picture of. I don't have it. Do I have it here? I don't think so. If I'm we have a picture, I'm writing down the suggestions while you talk. Oh, you're you're amazing. You should be my assistant. I've been an executive assistant before. I've See? progressed. You, now. You've, <laughs> now you're doing it live. You're a live. Yeah, executive live assistant. assistant. That's my yeah. new career. Let the path guide you. Eat clean. Ooh, I like that. Eat clean. That's uh, almost vegan. Or what eat. about eat your greens? eat your greens then you have to eat then you we have to like get all green vegetables and green apples it could it could be fun to make it all green i like this suggestion how about write cheesy quote in cheese cheesy quote oh I'll throw up cheese in the <laughs> that's air that's really funny you Good have like pieces eats. of cheese because there are so many cheesy quotes floating around. So I'm trying to visualize how I would make it look because cheese, to make cheese actually look like cheese, it's a lot with the color, um, the shape. Uh, maybe camembert, like the, the white, like, mm -hmm. I don't like it at all. And then blue cheese <laughs> would, would work. Yeah, we'd have to buy a lot of, well, no, that's, that's a point. What about like melted cheese that you could make digitally, not really melted? That'd or like fun. use a picture of melted cheese and then manipulate it to be to have letters. it go around that could be one letters. way to do it definitely like you have um cheesy i've never played around with like really 3d so i wouldn't know exactly how to do it like i would always try to think of how does the light hit so a few things that I love is like photography and mixing that with uh, with lettering, mm -hmm. and then trying like to figure out okay how can I actually make it look visually right, and then just like use all the illusionist tricks that you can. But like cheesy writing cheese with actual cheese, but then 
my initial thought was like, oh man, I have to buy so much cheese, but then I just have to buy like a few different pieces and then throw them in the air a few different times. Yeah, then we can actually cut them out. Ways. Yeah, and then we can cut them out. We have the light right. So that would actually work. Could be a cool Robzilla one. says, stuff your face. Stuff your face. <laughs> with what? <laughs> Tell us with what. And Make it out of reclet. Well, oh, that would brush be lettering. Oh, actually, cheese would be great because that's so Swiss. That's true. Even though I'm German, but... <laughs> Um, oh, so you're German. I'm German. But born in Switzerland. I, I have a really complicated past. Oh, wow. When it comes to Maybe countries. we should just talk about this for a while. Well, well if, if, if you want to have like a... Uh, it sounds like it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a fun one though. It's like I was, I was born in Africa. Wow. See, that's where we start. I was born in Africa. When I was five, uh, we moved to um, to Switzerland, to Lausanne. So that's a French part of Switzerland. I'm writing this down. Perfect. Well, you're writing both down. <laughs> wow. And we're um, when we moved there, we actually um, like in the French part. A few years later, we went to the German part. Actually, there's a city that does both languages, so that was even more complicated. But so I le learned French in school. I learned uh, speak German, like the proper German or the German German in at home and Swiss German uh, with friends. And so I like have a background with a lot of languages. Learned English by uh, watching movies, and wow. so I learned a lot just by living. I don't know. By, by living. By living. You Learn know. by living. Food is mood. Food is mood. All right, let's let's try a few different letter, uh, a few different quotes that have nothing to do with food, but more to do with uh, like play, um, coffee quotes or whatever you can find that just takes it a little bit away of coffee. Like I don't know, what can we play? Um, I like the suggestion brush lettering and use brushes, brushes like actual brushes. Ooh to write out brush. Yeah, yeah, to have like a brush. Let me see if I can sketch that out. So we're trying to um, just hide this layer. All right, brush, so a nice way to do brush lettering. And then using brushes here everywhere. That would almost look fake. I feel oh, like it's a, cool. I feel like it's a fun idea, but I don't feel like it will have this realistic look. Like, hmm. I don't know if you can draw up like because it won't look like they were randomly thrown. Yeah. In the air. Like if you look at my playing cards, can we have that up? I'm gonna look for it while you. You can actually go on Behance and see that I just put that up there. Because I knew that I was going live and probably would be somehow linked to the. Oh, Behance. very good. So I ahead. added three new projects to my Behance portfolio. I didn't. I was like, oh. So this one, the I second one. Type. It. Okay, so if we go on my laptop. Oh, there we are. So you this see. This is the concept. This is the concept. This is the idea. This is me uh, looking into the emptiness and actually then adding cards in the end. In the end, so. You did a good job of looking excited about nothing. Yeah, I know. We, we had a few pictures taking right there. Just. <laughs> I was <clears throat> the best part is like we were in back in the alley, so we were at Adobe Max. Yeah. We had to go all out into the city um, because we didn't want to be in the strip um, in Las Vegas. So we went back to a city to a coffee shop, and there was a back alley, just really small, and there were p a few cooks coming out all the time, and they just saw us like throwing cards in the air, and they were just <laughs> like wondering what the heck are we doing. Um, and I was lucky that I have a friend who who just was like patient enough. Because with the cards, it actually is a lot harder than you would think because you can see that no, none of these cards is a duplicate. Wow. So we had to throw like tons of cards in the air. So not all of them are just single cards, but we had to, to make the light really work well. Uh, we had to throw a lot of cards in the air and then just take about, I think it's about 30, 50 pictures about that I just composite into one picture wow. um, to make that work. And, and which is also one. cool is like having even things in the foreground, in the background, just like blurry. Yeah, that looks super realistic. Yeah, like, and the tennis is the same thing. So it's like uh, play, um, food for soul, that one is a nice one. Yeah, food for the soul. 
So yeah, with the tennis ball, the same thing. Like you have a room that's large, which we might not have here, but um, that's the cool thing about that one is actually you can use those balls, uh, make them big and just blur them out. Uh, so you can actually take those balls. And for this one, I just had one picture where she threw, I think six balls in the air. And just all these balls are just out of six or five, oh, cool. five different balls. <laughs> okay, um, I like this one from Laura, espresso yourself. Espresso yourself. Then we'd be back coffee. to coffee. Well, we can do it with coffee beans. It'd be a lot smaller. Coffee break, people like coffee. Spice up your life. Shout out to the Spice Ooh. Girls. Let's do spice up your life because we're already having like spicy Skittles. Oh, yeah. And we can get chilies, like all kind of different colored chilies. I like that. Wow, that Spice was easy. Who said that? Because I missed you. You were a couple minutes ago in the chat. Do you want some? Sure. Thank I'll, you. Uh, <laughs> take one at a time so we can still speak. <laughs> because otherwise, we're just speaking like we're having something. Yeah, it's not going to be good. So. Yeah, no, I suggested coffee. I said I, I meant like coffee. I, oh. love, I love coffee. But I have, I've seen that so much. People have done it so much that I feel like, ah, I don't want to do that again. Because it's not that it's not original. It's just like, we've seen it a lot. Yeah. So we're trying to still create something new. I saw a question once that said, how do you come up with these ideas? Yeah. So that's a really hard one. Because it's, um, I remember being, like, this is the first one that I made out of, um, with those tennis balls. I remember just having the idea like, oh, this would actually be cool to freeze a moment, like throw something like a lettering in the air, but it would be too hard to do. Like if you actually want to do it, it would be impossible. Mm -hmm. um, so then I started thinking backwards, um, going back and thinking of how can I actually, um, how can I actually make it possible? And kind of like a magician who's like, oh, how can I stay on the water for so long? And how can mm -hmm. I make it work? And there is a whole concept of then, like I can throw it in the air, I can Photoshop that, I can use those elements. And then you start informing yourself, you start to gathering all the inspiration you had uh, from a while back. Ooh, glow for it with glow sticks, that'd be also fun. <laughs> um, but Spice Up Your Life is my favorite by far. Yeah, we have to stick on that because we'll yeah. never finalize if we keep looking yeah. at them. And so now that's the same thing with right now like if you hear something like um spice up your life you're like oh immediately you go to spices mm -hmm. and we can actually go further it's like go to an adult rated things where you can use like um weird objects to throw in the air which i won't do i won't do that but it's just like you can go crazy with an idea always play around with ideas that's that's important too yeah you could also have like powdered spice Oh, like yeah. in the foreground. Like, oh, that could like, be like... You know the holy festival in mm -hmm. India where they throw colored powders? I'm just imagining like spices. See, and that's that's how you do it. It's like just imagine how it actually could look like. Yeah. So for the record, Nadia thought of this idea. Thank you, Nadia. That was good. And she said, hashtag England. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> for Represent. the Spice Girls. Um, so we <laughs> finalized that. Throw Michael in the air. <laughs> We might throw Michael in the air as well. Yeah, yeah when we're done with everything. We'll, t we'll take a picture of Michael and then just like randomly place it everywhere around. <laughs> we'll have one picture with Michael in the air. So now if we look on the iPad, you're gonna start brainstorming. Okay, so I'm just gonna... There's no way that I can try, turn that around. If you, it will adjust your, if but I you have the power cord huh there you go there you go Alrighty. so i'm trying to do to do this the um, the long way up like portrait mode i love those skittles they're just yeah it was really good so you're la you're you're on an invisible layer right now yeah i'm just gonna move this one all right so everyone's been asking about the contest i just wanted to remind you look on the contest tab to look at the details and it's still ongoing. We'll be looking at your submission soon. What we need from you is to draw a letter of the alphabet and have it on a white background. The white background is really important. So it can be one letter or multiple on a white background and be creative with it. Make sure 
that although it's creative, it's legible and we know what letter it is and it's very clear. And throughout this stream, we'll be looking at your submissions and then at the end, we will pick the best one. Can I pick In it? your opinion, yes. Yes. <laughs> so what is important? Like, how do you win? Whatever you like is oh. what's gonna win. So I could, guys, I could give you guys tips on how to win this competition. Yeah. So if you like my Instagram, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure most people on here like your Instagram. So if you like all my posts, no, <laughs> I'm taking it too far. So. So he's sketching out some ideas. So first, yeah. So the first thing you will have to try doing is actually to to write out the quote in a way you like it. Um. So you can afterwards like put it together. Mm-hmm. Spice up your your. I yeah, love that. that's an interesting one. Do, do you know how you actually <laughs> like you're thinking so much about a word that yeah. you totally forget something? So it happened to me a few times that I've posted something on Instagram, realized later on because because a lot of people comment and they're like, I don't know how to say that to you, but um, you missed that word or oh, you no. missed like it happens. It really. It, ha it happens a lot to me, and I'm I'm not offended at all if people like just comment that it's like it's helpful. It has helped me to actually save some work that I I know just it didn't go well. So if you see something that's not right, it's Let a us know. little hints. Yeah, live chats are great as well. Just like um, are you? Is your pencil at the highest flow level? If you click on the pencil, yeah, maybe drag that up because it doesn't show up as, as it was showing up really light, so it might not be really visible on the screen. I'm also not really pressing hard on it. Is that what? Yeah, that shows better. Yeah, I'm I'm still uh, light sketching just okay. So so that next time, if I want to really go uh, over it, yeah, I I can actually use that. But I'm still not sure if um. Because as nice as it will look, now you have to imagine the second layer. Let's go add another layer and just take down the opacity on this one. And um, toggle that. Go back, take a color, like the different spices. Like let's just pick up red, for example. Um, and I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller. So if you have like different uh, chilies here, I'm just randomly drawing them in um, just to help us visualize where they could be. And let's change the color to a, ye to a green, like this here. Um, some jalapenos just mm. to spice things up. Uh, thinking of spice, there's still some skills left. <laughs> um, that's the only thing that I'm asking myself is, at the end, will you be able to read it in a in a easy way? Mm -hmm. And also, just like that's that's a picture, but I kind of I'm thinking of like having a bowl of soup or kind of like making it interesting, so it's more than just like just chili in the air or just a hand throwing up chilies in the air. Okay. So you could actually maybe use it as an advertising for. Chilies. Like canned soup. Canned soup. Chili soup. Chili soup. Or if what brand uses chilies in their stuff? Um, um. Oh, like oh, like a spicy sauce. Oh, like salsa. Yeah, or the um, which one is the hot sauce? That one. Tapatio. No, sriracha. Sriracha. Sriracha is um, yeah. the famous. Oh yeah, definitely could be an, a sriracha ad. Or Chipotle. Yeah, exactly, Chipotle. Frank's Red Hot Candies. Cholula. This is what's coming in on the chat. <laughs> what's your favorite hot sauce, Tabasco. everybody? Tabasco, that's nice. I think Tapatio is mine. Sriracha, I definitely love, but it's not I that like... Spicy. Is it not? It's pretty spicy. I can't put it on everything, but I put Tapatio on a lot of stuff. So there's your habanero peppers. <laughs> the, the oranges. What other color? There's yellow, I think. 
-hmm. That's the other thing. We can actually go Google. Um, do you want to Google some, some, or even use Adobe stock images to see what kind of, like you could do the same work afterwards with mm -hmm. uh, Adobe stock, probably. Mm -hmm. There's surely going to be a lot of, of stock photos of um, chilies and jalapenos and, and hot items. Um, yeah, if we go to my screen, there's a ton. <laughs> Wow. Most of them are red, but over here, there's See, there's all these colors. So there's orange, dark yellow, green. dark green, dark, uh, I just, orange, yellow, and all of those. These ones have like orange and green in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, that's the nice thing about this one. Or I think like visually it's going to be nice because it's going to have all these colors. Mm -hmm. um, that will bring it up to light. And what we can do as well is... Um, I just want to blur this. Like you can have then some some blurry pieces that are floating in the air as well, um, like we had on the tennis yeah. picture. So that would be amazing as well. Um, what else? Let's change that color to some yellow, like that. And I think yeah. that will make it look even better. But I'm trying to figure out, um, so that's the process. What I'm doing right now is to think of how can I actually know if the, um, the spice will work. So I don't have to know that in the sketch right now. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, what I do have to know is like, all right, this concept, will it, will it work? But I can write it out afterwards in a whole different way. So I can actually go back, uh, create a new sketch layer, um, hide this one. Also had this one, and then just go back to the chilies here, make it a little bit smaller, pick that red, and then like write that out in an easy way. So also what helps a lot is just going to a font that is really simplistic. Like you know the watch, um, well, that's a bad watch example for that. But you know how like the, um, the square watches are, like those are just bars, um, top and bottom. Like the, I don't know, the digital watch uh, type. Yeah. I just want to move it. Yeah, I was thinking when I saw that you were putting peppers over the script. Yeah. It might be easier for it to just be simple shapes. Yeah, so. So not, I could spell it out easier. Exactly. So that's what I'm thinking here as well is like, um, have like different colors on top of each other here. Um, just trying to figure out. Nadia says you could also use peppercorns. Peppercorns, like the yeah, the, uh, the round thing that you grind pepper out of. Oh. Little black, maybe like for the small words or something. That's a good idea. Peppercorns, I like that. See, that's where like collaboration is perfect. Is like other people will give you the other ideas. We should, yeah. We should do that more often. I I need to <laughs> do that more often. Like, go go on live and then just talk about my ideas that I have to do. And yeah, you can use an, um, well, I need to know which word that I'm actually writing. Up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, that's helpful. <laughs> and then you can have like red ones, white ones. Um, white one doesn't work. Um, up your. Everyone has different opinions about eating spicy food in the chat. Most people are saying they don't like it. <laughs> it's it's actually, you know what? It's actually funny is you only have to get used to it. Um, it's not a good thing to get used to really hot spicy food, but as soon as you eat a lot of spicy food, like you start small and you gradually learn mm -hmm. to appreciate hot food. Your and tolerance without, goes Yeah, up. exactly. Because everything that's happening is actually, there's nothing harmful to your body with spicy food, it just, your brain has to adjust to knowing that, okay, that's actually not dangerous. Mm -hmm. And so that will change. But then spicy food overpowers like everything else. So the spicier you eat, the less you'll actually taste of anything else. So I feel like it's it's not what I'm I'm after when I'm eating. So I'm, I like it a little bit spicy, just to keep things- Just a little bit. We're just keeping it interesting. Yeah, we're talking about life and <laughs> spicy foods. Yeah, if you have any other questions about whatever. 
Anything that's not about food, <laughs> he can also answer. Um, what else? We're okay, taking some green, going back here to the greenish. Cherry, we're using Adobe Sketch right now. You Spice can... up your... What? Nothing. <laughs> Tell me. I like Tapatio Doritos, says Daniel. I didn't know those existed. That sounds like my favorite thing. Hannah says, how did you get started in your lettering career? Ooh. Um, that's not as interesting as my, my whole background. No, it's, <laughs> but it's definitely um, not conventional. So I didn't, I didn't go to university. I didn't study it. I didn't have a background in, in lettering at all. Um, mm -hmm. I just did it on the side. I learned it uh, early on. Like I did a lot of filming before, moved into photography. And then on the side, I always did a little bit of graphic design. And so we talked about it just earlier. It's just like, I use an app called Over where you can like create compositions. You can add those um, text and quotes together. And I started sharing that. That's when I decided to be more um, intentional about my Instagram. Mm -hmm. So that was a point where it's like below 1000 followers. And I just decided, I don't know why I decided that, but I just thought like, I have to do it right, the right way. And so I um, started doing Instagram, like doing just narrowing it down to just one thing. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being quotes and text and graphic design. And so I shared a lot of quotes, um, did a lot of design on my iPhone. And at some point I realized like I cannot actually do anything more. So um, I had to think of something new or like I was like stuck with only the fonts that I could use, the, the way, the tools that I had. Mm -hmm. And so I had to actually break out of what I had and just learn something new. And so I started lettering it like I saw that on Instagram, people doing it. Um, but that was like three, four years ago. And that's when I decided like, all right, I can actually, I can learn to draw. I can learn to, to do that. Like I loved drawing as a kid, never yeah. loved drawing letters though. Um, so I, I started out drawing letter forms and I sucked at it so bad. And, but kept on, on trying, kept on, on doing it. And so after a while, I yeah I got to where I am. I, two years ago, I quit my job at the bank, so worked in a bank. Wow! So that's my background. That's such a great story. And yeah, so learning to to do something, to work hard, to work on something for for a long time really pays out, mm -hmm. and really helps you to actually grow in whatever field you're doing. Like if it's photography, if it's graphic design, if it's um, videography pottery, whatever, um, spicy food, like we said, just start small, yeah. keep on going. You have to practice. <laughs> See, life lessons. <laughs> um, I'm just going to move this one back here because... Shelly, you should check out his Instagram and you'll see he does a lot of drawing. I do a lot of random stuff as well. Yeah, lots of experimental stuff but it all usually it always has to do something with um, lettering so like typography this is almost like this s yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that I'm wearing this Adobe shirt oh yeah the Adobe max sweatshirt <laughs> because it's summer in Australia and, and it's winter here it's like I had to get something that's warmer yeah Tosh says, any tips for having a steady hand? I struggle to have fluid lines that aren't shaky. Um, yeah, I had this one. Um, well, first of all, it's a lot of practice, but then if you wanna have a steady hand, so if you wanna have like straight lines, one way to do it is actually use your hand here, like stick it to the, to the side of the, the iPad or like paper you can, where you can feel the line and then just pull down like your, um, the pencil and then just drag the whole hand. And what you'll create is like actually create like really straight lines. So that way you can actually do it steady. Mm -hmm. You learn like that movement, that flow. And, but the more you practice it, like um, the easier it will get and you'll just like keep on doing these exercises until you die. And mm -hmm. after a while, you're really gonna have a steady hand. And other tricks is just to, I don't know, like 
there are ways like you can just do a jittery thing, but like just add a little bit, and the the way you progress, the it will look like an easy flow, and so that that's something that has helped me a lot. Is mm -hmm. just to practice that, or just like if I'm not sure, I just do lines over and over, so it looks more like a sketch, and then you refine that, you refine that, um, and also just adding points wherever you feel like going, then you can just like connect these um, and just draw it all out. So all different kind yeah. of ways to do that. <laughs> Trying all the way back. Erasing is actually easier. Or you can do it the manual way. Going back yeah. up here, yeah. But then you're like da, 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 da. <laughs> Because I realized that I just like did a lot of sketching, so that would, would have taken a long time. Um, so spice up. So, I'm not sure if the peppercorn, how well it will look. Because you have yeah, to have it in focus. Small. Yeah, you have to have it in focus as well. Yeah. But but I th think it could add to the whole picture. Like, it would actually look cool. Do you have to have everything actually in the air? Or can you just use a photo of a peppercorn and just place it in Photoshop? So the, the reason why I would actually throw it in the air is to um, to have the best light, like it matches the light of, mm. of my frame. So, so if however I want to do it, like that's that way, I'll just have that, and that will make it look more realistic. That's why yeah. it's better to use that to make your own stuff than to go onto a, a Adobe Stock or like mm. any other place just to get those elements. But you can do it. It's just a lot harder because then you have to manipulate all the pictures. You have to correct all the um, the strength of the light like is it hard light or is it like soft light yeah there's all kind of different ways and if you like match it to everything in your picture like you shoot it all yourself of course it's going to be better so and we have time tomorrow so we're going to do it we're going to try that out tomorrow and see how it works if it works well that sounds exciting shelly asks when you do the photography are you usually the one taking the photo um really depends if I like at least I'm instructing the person who takes the photos how to take them mm -hmm. um, I'm setting it all up I I'm really I know how I want my, my my photo to look so I already have that look in my my head I know how I want to like you know all the steps to get it there yeah so that's when it's hard to actually translate that to someone else to tell them it's good it's a good exercise to actually do it because then mm -hmm. you learn how to to work with others and not just work with yourself um, so if you if you're really if you can't let go of anything you really have to practice that to um, to give that away to just let somebody else handle that but then for me um, I'm usually alone or I'm like during the day no one's around at home yeah so I have to do it myself and if I have someone else, maybe I want to be in the picture, so then I love to, to work with someone. And the better the photographer, the better they know what they're doing. And usually someone at home is usually not, not necessarily someone who knows how to handle um, a DSLR or whatever camera. Mm -hmm. So then I do it myself. Cool. Brittany, <laughs> I love your creative today, created today things on Instagram. Oh, uh, yes. This is a cool Oh, project. I like the toilet one. That was funny. I got a lot of comments on this one. <laughs> yeah, I showed it to a few people because I was telling them about the live streams this week. <laughs> and they were like, who are these people on the live streams? And I'm like, look, it's the toilet guy. And they followed you immediately. See? Do something crazy. No, do yeah. something. That, that's, that's been my motto in the, in the last couple of uh, weeks is like, Create something today, even if it sucks. Mm -hmm. So if you, um, like the channels right now, that's drawing a letter and posting that on a white background. Yeah. Just try out, like, if you've never done one letter, just try it out, like, draw something out that you've, like, that you think would be cool and post it on Behance. Um, and, like, you cannot lose if you try. And even if it sucks, you already created something, which is amazing. Um, like, I don't think that this, what I'm, creating right here is the best thing that I've ever done, but mm -hmm. I'm working towards uh, creating something. And the coolest thing is, as soon as you've created something, you actually really feel proud of having done something, even though it might not be the best one. So, and I feel felt a lot that I've been held back in creating something because 
like I said, like I saw that picture with those tennis balls. I saw that in my head, mm -hmm. but I know the process it takes to get there. And then sometimes I feel like uh, even if I try to do it, it won't be as good as what I will get. Yeah. And then I'm really frustrated with that and just feel like, ah, oh, I need to do something else. Like I need to try it in a different way. So um, that's where I feel like you have to, to let go of perfection, just doing something. And then you realize you're gonna actually create something that's actually better just by having tried. And then you realize, oh, that's actually pretty good. And yeah. I've tried it. So you win every time. That's a great philosophy to have. I agree. And even if it's not something that's great, you probably had fun doing it oh, yeah. and it brings you a lot of satisfaction to see that you've created something yeah. and sometimes that's the most important thing like you enjoy it and yeah. what's better than that exactly like the toilet one i had this idea for a long time like oh i should write like that on the back of a toilet and now i have part two coming soon Ooh. <laughs> did you actually write on the actual seat or was there something on top i wrote it on the actual seat I had a is chalk that pen. your toilet? Yeah, it's my toilet. Okay. People, people were c concerned that I was like, oh, I, he, why, why are you liking this? This is vandalism. I was like, <laughs> this is my own toilet. I'm not vandalizing I anything. I could do whatever I want to my toilet. Um, let me see. I'm looking at the contest submissions. It's very are exciting. Good ones? Yeah, just looking through them. Um, I'll pick some to show you in a few minutes. Nice. So you're doing the first selection. Oh, that would be nice. That's Don't good. look. 90% done is better than zero. Exact. Well, actually, 10% done is actually better than zero. So. That's true. So, it's like I and that's that what inspired me is like, even a bad run is better than no run. So I was always like, if I go run for only like five minutes, I, it's like not even worth going out. But then no run is worse than five minutes. So it's like, I actually go out for five minutes. And when you're out for five minutes and you're like, I actually can do 10, maybe 15, maybe 20. Mm -hmm. And it keeps on adding. And same thing with creating. If you start out with like 10 seconds, um, like take a paper, take a pencil and start drawing something. I don't know, you'll end up maybe further than you actually thought. You thought uh, you may, may have thought of just doing like one piece and then you're suddenly doing two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Spice up. I like bouncing letters. <laughs> Will likes your advice. He's watching. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> we have a project that we have to do later on. As soon as we're out, we still got to keep creating. So it's like wow, create a video for YouTube. You're like machines. Ah, uh, gotta make the most out of everything, right? Yeah. Spice up your life. I feel the F's gonna be amazing. Voodoo. I read somewhere that when it comes to procrastination, if you just do the work you don't want to do for five minutes, you end up getting over it and just doing what you have to do. That's true. Yeah, procrastination is probably my biggest problem that I have. Yeah. I've been trying to be active on Instagram. Oh, uh, that's lately. actually that, that helps. If yeah, because you, you you're like, oh, I want to post something, so I have to make something. Yeah, and it's been really motivational. I did it just as a way for me to be motivated and create things, and the feedback really helps you to be more creative. But I get home and I procrastinate until. I actually get to my desk and then I can sit there for like five hours. Exactly. Like as soon as like I pick up the pen, I'm like, oh, it's already midnight. <laughs> but until I get there, I'm like, oh, first I'll eat dinner, then I'll do this and I'll do that. And then you're suddenly on YouTube and you spend your time. And then I'm watching time. your videos and then that's it. That's, that's the right thing to do. <laughs> There's no wrong. If you want to procrastinate, just watch the videos on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, that really not helpful. Yeah, I do that too. And just like have an idea for a YouTube video and just start like start doing it and then realize, ah, oh, it's not working out. Then go back to procrastinating. 
And then as soon as you have a deadline, you're actually mm -hmm. like, that's why pr like everyday projects or like create something every day, even if it sucks, is perfect because you know that you have to do something every 24 hours. Like at the end of 24 hours, you mm -hmm. have to have something out. And that really helps whatever you, you, um, you create something. Like I did a 100 day creative challenge where I did something every day. So that the the tennis was one of those was mm -hmm. like one something I did in one day. You did it all in one day. Yeah, it's it, it really wow. is super easy. Like take the picture, take one picture with them throwing the ball. Like even take the one picture with the content aware tool. You can just hide those balls, mm -hmm. and then you just put them in. And you just like start multiply uh, multiplying them, and then easy. Wow. But yeah, you just you actually have to do it. You just gotta go try that. So, trying to draw a different kind of chili. I think that will be great here. Yeah, as soon as we're in Photoshop, like after we shot all the elements, um, we can actually go and shoot that in different colors. Well, in different colors and like start um, putting it all together. Mm -hmm. So there's. Did a, you draw a lot as a child? I did. Um, you, that's the wrong layer. There you go. Um, I did a lot, yeah. I love to draw, like I had a, I filled out sketchbook after sketchbook. Like while, because I did school in French, every time we had German lessons, like I was fluent in German. So uh, I didn't have to listen to the teacher and the, even the teacher gave me like the other assignments to do. Yeah. And at some point they, she didn't have any more assignments. So I was able to go sit down, listen to uh, audio cassettes, like stories. And just while sitting down, I was just drawing and just like my fantasy life, just going full speed, um, drawing like houses, drawing people, drawing all kinds of stuff. Like yeah. whatever my mind was, was at and so I did a lot of drawing, so that's why my I love the, to work with my hand. Um, but I never had practice in drawing letters, so it's learning something completely new in a new way and form. And so that that was really interesting um, because you still have to make that progress of learning, of actually also being open to sucking at the beginning and just mm -hmm. making yourself your way into whatever you're doing. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. We have another Stefan on the chat. Stefan represent and even the right way to spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Animation and graphic design. Ooh, see? I like that, Stefan. I'm starting a new job next month, animation and graphic design. So I try to try to learn and make something new every day to already get better at it. So he's, he's ahead of the game already. He, he's actually exactly. He's he knows how to learn new things. Um, and that's that's the best way, it's a fun way to do it. Um, and you can learn from anyone, and you can learn by yourself, however you choose to do it. Um, it's pretty cool. So let's pick out a more greenish... What do you think? Yeah, I would make it more natural the green, but it's just a sketch. It's just a sketch. We're just trying out like... That's my problem. I. I refine things too much, and I, I'm like, it has to be perfect right now, and I'm like, <laughs> trying to do it, and then I don't take my time usually. So that's also the good thing is that if you have a client that actually requests to do you that particular work, even mm -hmm. if you send them a sketch, you have to explain them that this is only a sketch. This is, doesn't have to be the final piece. Mm -hmm. um, you yeah. have to to be clear about what you can change later on, and what you can't change. So. That's really helpful when when deciding on or like saying that's that the sketch is about like this is I'm using chilies I'm using these kind of chilies mm -hmm. um, I would send him like pictures of the different chilies that I would use and then just like um, maybe even further than that just also try to think of the concept like right now it just looks like it could be flat on on a cardboard or just like a piece of white paper so what I have to to do is actually to move that around um, and to yeah to just change that a little bit so transform like maybe get that in and then either I don't know oh, that was it. Uh, 
the right way to do it. Um, I'm in the new layer. I am. Let's go back to a black here. Like having a bowl of soup. So kind of the, the idea that it either would be springing out, like oh, exploding. Oh, I see. Um, oh, do you know that explosion, like dynamite explosion that has like these, um, like it's only black here. So it looked like it, is, it has exploded. So you yeah. could have like a burrito, just like, kind of like explode, <laughs> full of spices. Yeah. But then you would have like burrito pieces somewhere here, like corn or things like that. Could be funny as well. So yeah, That's so I love, cool. I love thinking of concepts that are just funny to do. Um, because you always, you always find like concepts that would be funny for a company, like, like ideas for, we had this idea of writing in sand and that gave us an idea of like, well, we could do that with other brands that do other stuff, like do massive scale, do something fun. And so we're trying to reach out to those brands. That's the most, that's the hardest part. It's not the creating part. Um, but then you go over agencies, you have all that thing that's just not creating. It's more like the whole business side aspect of things. But yeah. A few people have asked about how you overcome your creative block. Do you have any exercises Ooh, for that? Yes, I do. Um, because I just had one. <laughs> <laughs> just last week, it was terrible. I, I think I have like every few months I have one, like creative block, like really a block where it's like, creating anything becomes hard um, mm -hmm. or where you just feel like everything you do sucks and it's not like you're just repeating what you've been doing and then you you come into that rut and so what i do it's an exercise and i've posted that on my my instagram so i like to share about that on my instagram as well is i actually start repeating an exercise so if you go to to my instagram like mm -hmm. you might just go over well i take a drink is there something I can take? Yeah, I'll bring you some water. Oh, or you can have that yeah, if you fun. want it. Explosion on, on the set. Oh, that would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that could be actually fun. See, these ideas give me another idea. Uh, well, there was also someone that said you could have popcorn as an idea too. Well, I've already done that. Oh, really? Do you still have my beans open? No. Even if you go on that one, on my typo... Um, is that the one? So oh, here's your Instagram. So this one here. That's, that's okay, my exercise. So if we go on my laptop, we can see... This one? Exactly. Yeah, so you just... I just pressured yourself to do one word in a different style. So that's an exercise. It's it's an exercise that helps me just to turn off my brain and not think about composition, not think about like what kind of word that I'm writing in. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as you do a quote, you're thinking about like how can I do a composition, how does it match well, like there's so many elements that are just unknown that you don't know about that will make it hard for you to create. And this exercise here is like I have two pages, they have to be filled. Um, and and they all like every word has to be something different and usually i take something that i like to write about like i use a lot i use the bible like i use a whole chapter and i filled like a whole sketchbook only with this and so it has become an exercise for me where i write one word after the other and just like just go on and on and on so from left to the right and fill the whole page up till the end and at the end you have something that looks really nice because it's filled out because yeah. you finished it and that just helps me to just to create, like turn off my brain, turn off my whole creative, like, oh, this has to be this, this has to be better. The perfectionism goes away. And then you create something like that and just like, just totally different, so much That's better. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, we had a comment from Lucrecia. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but she said, I'm a beginner in lettering. What advice do you have for a really beginner? Start with what you have. You definitely have a pencil and paper and you start drawing like something every day, uh, like one word, uh, one, one phrase, like really start simple and try to do it just every day and you'll progress. Um, like in a week, you'll already see progress. You like your mind's going to start thinking and looking at type differently. Um, you definitely going to, um, 
gonna learn more as you go. And what I also, like, I'm gonna do a video about that soon as well, like how to, like, 10 tips on get started with, how to get started with lettering, mm -hmm. or 10 tips for beginners. And one of them is copying other people's work for educational purposes only. So it's not, don't copy and share that, like that's my creation, but copy to learn how they actually did it. Like if you have a letter, um, a letter B, for example, you have this serif uh, B, you start to overlay with a different color and you start writing in like, oh, that's not different color. There we go. So that that's what a normal B would be, would be like. Mm -hmm. um, if you just have the skeleton. And so if you start with the skeleton, you think of, okay, how does this B um, actually work? So you see like these borders here are actually a lot larger, these one as well, but here they go really thin. So the contrast is really thick um, between those. And so you learn that these are, are like that and they have this serif over here that just go out. So it's something like if you're a beginner, you don't know anything of that. You just like know it's, oh, yeah. it goes pointy up here. It's rounded here and it's like really thin up here. So you start adding those things together and you learn as you go. So the next thing is like, okay, so a straight line would, like that would be, uh, would be like this. And then if it's something rounded, like for example, if you know that's the skeleton of an O, I would actually have to add on like here. Um, that's where it's thin and that's where it's thick. And then you start like, joining those things together and and as you go you you start learning these things you start learning about like drop shadow lines you learn about all these kind of different things um, as you go and that's how I would say like this is how you can start really easy that's how I learned everything because mm -hmm. to this day I still don't have a lot of knowledge about stems about crossbars about all the technical yeah. terms that um, designers would use so I still recommend yeah. like you can learn that you don't have to have all the knowledge of or the theory of everything and you'll know what's right what's not right yeah well it's important to be able to observe and see how things should look and if you don't know the terms for everything it doesn't matter yeah as long as you know what they should look like and you look at a lot of examples <laughs> is that I think our image was lost so but there's we a, look upside down now. Yeah, and there's oh, a green screen behind Oh, it. gosh, so this, this is really scary. This is us <laughs> reflected, and this is our work. Yeah, yeah you, you just have to go as you want. <laughs> Speaking of typographic terms, Jorge asks, what's a counter? A counter is this space. This one? It's the negative space in a letter. Oh. So, for example, in an E, the counter would be this. The inside there. Yeah. Ah, nice. See, I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while to learn. The terms are very um, obscure sometimes, so it's kind of a mystery how they came about. But it takes experience. Yeah, and you so. definitely don't know. Have to like it's knowing all the terms and all the in the language is helpful to communicate with other designers. So yes. if you like. If For someone sure. come up to me and says like, "Can you change the the stem?" Like I would know. Well, I, I can. I would Google it and find it out. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that would help me to actually like just like if we were just writing, that would help me. You can show me like, oh, this is. See, this is the. What did you say again? Counter. Counter. See, and then you. you yeah. Learn, the like, only way it helps is when you're talking to other people. When you're alone. You're yeah, not talking to yourself exactly. like, here is the tittle of the eye, which yeah, is the dot it, of the and eye. And it won't, like, it won't make you a better drawing. designer. Only if you know like the specifics of like, you need to know kind of like the downstrokes are thick, the mm -hmm. upstrokes are thin. Those are one of the only theoretical things that I've learned that I feel like, ah, oh, that actually was helpful to it know really that. It really helps, yeah. Um, but then, because then you realize like, ah, oh, this is the downstroke. This is the downstroke as well. And, and like, You'd have a brush, you'd have this um, exactly thick here because it's that's the widest part of the brush. Mm -hmm. And and so you figure out like, ah, this is actually how that works. So it helps you to, to connect the dots and to have like a logic behind whatever you're drawing, which is really helpful in some cases. Yeah, we'll actually mention that as well because we were looking at some submissions. 
speaking of which, let's look at some submissions for Do the contest. Submission break? Just as a preview, yeah. Nice. So we'll go through these pretty quickly. A random giveaway? We can do a random giveaway. Yeah, we will be doing that in a couple minutes. I don't know actually what it is, but it's... <laughs> just hearing the word giveaway is actually exciting. It's just that we say you get a giveaway and that's your prize. Can I, can I, just, can I say maybe maybe the random giveaway is a spicy... A one Skittle? Why, one spicy Skittle. <laughs> we can maybe send you a whole pack. Okay, These are actually so really good. here's a Curly Q B. Mm -hmm. Any comments? Yeah, I like the... How like to improve? The... Um, I feel like it's it's a little bit too simplistic. Like I, I like the start of the idea, the curls going in the back, the curls going inside makes it a little bit harder to to see it as a bee. I don't know. Hmm. Like that's the the counterpart. Yeah. Um, see now we can use the words we learn. Exactly. So we actually uh, less in the curls place. in the counters. Maybe. But um, also the the size we uh, talked about, the thickness where the contrast is in the letter. That can be improved, so the downstroke make them thick, so you have the right proportions and you recognize it easily as a B. Mm -hmm. um, then just it could be it, it's close to an eight in some sense. Yeah, I see what you mean. So that's what I would change. Yeah, here's an Ooh. N. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I love the texture. There's one one small improvement that I love to make. That's just me because I love to add those shadows. So the the one where it, uh, like over loops. Um, this is um, that I would add some shadows on the bottom and uh, at the top. Um, and but I love the texture. I love the the colorness of, of this. So that's really cool. Yeah. Here's an N. Really abstract N. Yeah, it's oh, too it's a, big. It's, to fit on the it's page. too big. I like the idea of like the. Um, it has some something with the barcode. Oh, yeah. So if you think about that, that could be like kind of cool. You can like that would actually help me inspire me to actually think of like, why not do a QR code that's maybe like that and, and so on. But like I like the lines, the lines are placed in a in a good way. So you can still see that it's mm -hmm. an N. Like that's the initial thing that I saw when you when it popped up, even without seeing the whole thing. I recognize it. Yeah, as an N. it's very legible, which is good. Yeah, it would be a cool alphabet and like the whole thing. Yeah. That There's bee, a bee. I like that. That's pretty cool. The, um, I don't know, you know Beam? Uh, like there's a there's no. a company like a, a social media company from Casey Neistat that's called Beam, and the bee looks really similar. But what I like about this, it has this somehow comic look with the dot that is uh, on top of it. Maybe I can just like to show that. Um, like I always. What I do when I see something new is on the iPad. Yeah. is actually um, thinking of like what do I like, and so it's these two uh, rounded pieces that come together that I really like. To so just to make it better, I feel like the um, this part here inside um, is much thicker than just as soon as it comes out here. You see that just a little bit thinner. So either draw that line further out, yeah, because you won't see that actually if it's final. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, it's really cool. Uh, yeah. Let's see a few more on the laptop. Here's initials, JD. JD. Oh, that was, yeah. it took me a long time to actually figure out what it was. Um, yeah, I think the J is clearer, but the D is a little too um, round. Mm -hmm. It needs to have a clear um, stem. Mm -hmm. So. A little more vertical, I would say. But the, like the con, like the contrast, like the like that here. This one has those shadows that has like it's mm -hmm. overlapping, which I really really love, and I love the texture of it. That's brilliant. That it feels like stone, like carved stone, yeah. which is amazing. It's like the opposite of carved stone. Yeah, and it's intricate. It's, it has a lot to do. The only thing that I would do just to make it like better, or just if I would take that and work on it a little bit more. I would try to make the D look more like a D um, or just know more about the thoughts behind that one. So John, but John really great work. Yeah. Here's a few G's. Oh, I love, which one do I like most? I love yeah. those G's. I love the, so, some are hard to read as a G, I think. Like the third one on the top. Um, mm -hmm. The last one is really, really square and really simplistic. 
um, because then if you take out the few G's that you can read and just show me the other ones, I would never come up. I would never see it as a G. So that's what with lettering, it's it's really free and really easy to do or like you can do it however you want but kind of the only rule that it has to ha keep is you can read it yes so that's, that's the most important yeah. thing jr this is kind of the going along with the smile theme that we had in will's stream ah yeah the so the j works out and well. here's the d you like this, this yeah this so this one i i just looked up or just glanced at the screen and i was like oh this this caught my attention um, like I love the like the level, the the different the layers, layers. Um, the shadow. It just brings it all out, and the red. That's again the counter, which mm. is it helps really to to actually see that. So and I like that he didn't do it till the end. Um, so Ryan, really well done on this one. Yeah. I like the green as well. So it has. It's like, kind of like a watermelon. Oh to yeah. Me. Totally. All right, so should we continue sketching? Yeah. We'll see some more submissions at the end. Uh, let me just, can I erase that part? I did a whole video on like 16 types of A and 16 types of B, which is like, I went, go through like all the different types of letters that I, that I do. Yeah. Which is really, um, this is the one that I was working on. And other part. <laughs> so yeah, so like I, I go through like there's so many, there's an impossible amount of bees you can do. Um, you know that you work with fonts, so you know exactly how to like, there are some that are more recognizable as each other, mm -hmm. but there's so every, every um, element has some different parts to it. Um, and that's the part that's amazing about like fonts, like you can write a whole font out of chilies if you want to. Yeah. I could submit that later on. <laughs> I have no idea how to make fonts, but... We just got that question, if you make fonts. I don't. I I, I told you just before, just like, I don't know when the last time was that... Well, I still use Photoshop, and but I haven't gone into like graphic design, designing a brochure or something where I had to choose a font and like all that. So mm -hmm. like, in the world of fonts, I really don't know what's going on, but... In the world of lettering. But in the world of lettering, I, I get inspired. You're participating in that world, for exactly. sure. <laughs> Trying to give my contribution to it. Yeah. So I'm still thinking of like how we make it like spring out, make it more fall off, or like yeah. there needs a level of excitement in this to portray that spice up your life. Because otherwise it's like, ah, oh, spice up your life. It's another quote. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. just, it's bland, it's not interesting. So that bowl, I feel like that bowl could actually um, could actually help us create that. Yeah, element. I like the bowl. What could we put in that bowl? Questions to the public. Yes, please give us your suggestions of what's in the bowl. Do we just have a soup? The most obvious to me is chili. Madison says salsa. Oh. Noodles. Good. Spicy noodles. Chips and salsa. Steam. Salsa. <laughs> can I do it just a, like, you know those salsa, those, um, those dips? Yeah. You can do a commercial for them, just like pop it up, put it in, have some tomatoes as well flying around. Yeah, you could have some tomatoes. Ceviche, nachos, meatballs, curry. Okay, everyone's getting hungry now. <laughs> Chilaquiles, jambalaya, Ooh. guacamole. Oh. Guacamole? Guacamole's a good one, too. Yeah. Fajitas, nachos, lime and cilantro. We're going towards the Mexican side now. Chopsticks. Spicy tortilla chips. Oh, that's what could be all around here. Oh, Flying chips. Flying chips. Yeah. Instead of having other chilies. Well, it would be colorful, but like, nice. And then, yeah, that would fit perfectly with the, the dip. Yeah. So it could be like salsa and chips flying around. Exactly. Ooh, now, now it's, 
This is coming together. This, this is uh, the excitement when you get when you like figure out stuff or like you f feel like oh this works perfectly together. So whoever suggested those uh, tortilla chips, I really like it. So you have the um, the dip up here, or we can still put it in a bowl so we don't have to shoot a commercial and <laughs> create everything around it. Yeah. But I could create my own hot sauce. Oh. <gasps> We should have Will do the logo for, for the hot sauce. Oh. And then we can and, sell the hot sauce. And then we can put that in Adobe Dimensions. Create the and whole... And make it 3D. Make it 3D. I okay, this is getting very amb ambitious. <laughs> and then uh, we get Becca to create like a whole lettering piece with like chilies. <laughs> <laughs> She's not volunteering to do that. <laughs> She's, She's like just not smiling. nodding and smiling, but like no. <laughs> Something needs to be on fire. Yeah, I, th I actually thought that this whole bottom part could be burned. I just don't know how. Actually, burn it and then put it down and then put. Not in here. Where are you gonna burn it? Fire extinguisher. I don't care. <laughs> it's not my studio. It's getting dangerous. Now we can just maybe draw it or. I could do it outside. Okay, so we're gonna do a giveaway now. Yes. To someone in the chat. We're giving away these three posters. Amazing. They're from previous live streams. They're all great. So all we need you to do is just be active in the chat and one of you the will win. The floor is lava. <laughs> the floor is lava is funny. <laughs> That's really gotten to be a huge meme. The floor is oh, lava? Yeah. Did you I've ever, seen so many videos of Did that. you ever do a run and then play with a friend while you were running The Floor is Lava? No, I never did. I feel like I was deprived in my childhood or my life you in general. You can still do it now. It's we're going to play it later. Yeah. Not right now because I don't want to run. <laughs> <laughs> I love type, typography, me, me, me. We're getting Everyone right now so many questions. How do you choose the winner? It's random. It's just a is bot. It? Yes. Okay. It doesn't mean that we love you more or less. We love all of you the same, but but some more. The bot will no. <laughs> chose the winner. Simon says the floor could be guacamole. I would love to fall into some guacamole though. Oh, but now now I'm really excited about this. Like we have the hot sauce here. We have those chips flying around. Yeah. We have those spices everywhere. It's gonna be amazing. It's very exciting. Wow, everyone's chatting away. So now I have to get like a whole list of stuff that I, whoa. No. What happened? Oh, no. that's a funny brush that. Yeah. It's, it's great when you, when you use it for like um, drawing out a few things. Mm -hmm. There we go. So what do we have to do now for the, the giveaway? They just have to enter. We will see the name soon, and you will, Ooh, you will reveal, it. reveal who won. I'll just say a random name. Just no. Like. <laughs> You're Sorry, not allowed that's, to do that's that. that's life. <laughs> it just happened. I don't know why. They'll bring us a name. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Someone said, pick the winner. My hand is getting tired <laughs> from, like, chatting. <laughs> All right, so here are the chips. Tortilla chips. Have you had any Mexican food since you've been here? No, I had salad and I had, what else? Had. You need to have a burrito. Yeah, they, they had one here at the canteen. Like no, a, like in a restaurant. We might go out for burritos later. You should, because that's really famous in San Francisco. Oh yeah? Yeah. See. Now, oh, this is not what I want. Sketch there. Put something and in what about the small words? So those one, I still think of doing that one with peppercorns. Oh yeah. So I don't think I have to write them out. Like for the sketch, we can still keep on sketching though, because yeah. that's actually fun. Um, I hope we pick a winner soon, because everyone's going nuts. It's going faster, faster. I Who think it's coming, though. 
It's always the same people who are just like typing something in, like Timothy, Albert, and. <laughs> and the suspense is almost over. The winner has been picked. Oh, can I let it? In the you guys can calm down now. Oh, it's our friend. So, was that random? <laughs> it was, it random, was random, but she was it chatting was. a lot. I'm just waiting till they're No, finished. they're never going to stop. <laughs> just All say right, the All right, so oh, the winner of those... The posters. Of all the posters? Yeah. All of three. all three posters is... Wait. Shauna! Shauna! That was, that was a weird clap before we just had a few people <laughs> clapping. It's like, oh, sad. So yeah, Shauna, congratulations. You won the big prize, the, the random giveaway um, that we just did. Yeah. Congratulations. We're back now. Yes, sure. back to normal. Back, <laughs> back to less comments. Oh, see, she still is online. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then everybody else, um, make and everybody in general, please submit your letters on a white background. Make sure you look on the contest tab, and um, we'll be looking at those at the end and picking one of them to win for this session today. And every session, we'll be picking one letter that's been designed by you. Brianna says, why didn't you try to say her last name? Well, it is a little intimidating. Lynn? No. What? Shauna Lynn is her first and middle name. And then her last uh, name, I don't know how to pronounce it. Michael. I'm sorry. Hen Chesen. Is that Pen right, Shauna? Hen Chesen. Shauna Lynn Pen Chesen. Yeah, I have a hard time saying, like, spelling out names, right? I'm really hypocritical because my name is really hard to say and then I find other people's names hard to say, and I don't try. <laughs> I need to try more. <laughs> yeah, well, you can only lose at this game. <laughs> All right, so here are little peppercorns. So yeah, I hope, I hope this will work. That should. If not, it just won't. Um, and just add some. White. Isn't there a way that you can color the whole whole background? Um, well, actually, the background is white anyway. I just have to take off the grids. Yeah. Nice. So the only thing we could do is actually have that on a different color background. Like, well, we can choose tomorrow. We can choose all the backgrounds. We can yeah. set up. Life. Shauna says you pronounced her name right. She's nice. very impressed. We had we had we had Becca in the background helping us with that one. Oh, we did. Yeah. I didn't notice. Yeah, she she just like whispered it <laughs> in a loud way. Nadia says try to say my name correctly. Nadia Abu El Dahab. Abu El Dahab. Does that sound right? Okay, but don't make me say all of your names because I'm gonna make mistakes. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> now that we have our concept for tomorrow, I feel like we don't need to to work a lot more on this one. We could do okay. other concepts or... We have about half an hour left, so you can do something, some more sketching. Um, is there anything that the chat wants to see before we finish up today? Anyone, anything you want to see him sketch? Tash says, for the Spice Up Your Life, having a super dark blue background. Super would dark be blue. like offsetting the reds. And the um, bright uh, chips hmm. colors. That's nice, yeah. We'll try that out tomorrow. Yeah. See, see whatever we can find. Super what if blue. you do um, show us how you overcome your creative block by doing like many examples of the same letter or like words in different styles so words in different styles you would just go like from um 
So I would start, usually I would start with a slanted line of, of a word, like that. Mm. And then just from that on, just like that's the skeleton that I would use and then think of, okay, how can I actually improve that? So maybe just do um, one just thick, like with the thick lines, the beginning lines here, and just keep on, on adding. So just go through a whole word. And as soon as I'm done with one, like, then you can go in and you can start add it, adding like a gradient in here. Um, so, so you start on one side and just like, keep doing this um, and you like there's li literally no almost no end to it like you can start adding like drop shadows to that um, there's this a slight chance of overdoing it mm -hmm. um, which is like more than greater than you can actually think um, and then you go on you're just like okay so now I had like a sans serif style so so maybe I'll write something in a script font just so the contrast between the words is greater. Um, and now now that I see that, so this is when I write something out, I'll realize like, ah, oh, it would be cool actually to have the T over up here. So I might just go back and then just, um, and usually in my exercise, I don't go back because I just write with a, um, a pencil. But that way you can utilize that space in the best possible way. So that gap here just is perfectly for the T and the H, um, and the I can actually come up here. Maybe. So this is also showing how you would think about a composition, um, think about how the words fit in together. Someone just asked, when I asked for suggestions, can you show how you would lay out a multi-word composition? Yeah, so basically the same way. You, you start off with a shape, um, so let me just, sketch a new layer. So basically you start off with the shape. It could be something rounded. It can be like a, um, what do you call that, diamond shape form. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can start off like, depending on how how many words you have, like just someone give me one quote. Quick, we need a quote. Just one quote, anything. No more lag, yay. That's not the <laughs> quote, but that's someone that's is good, happy. That's um, See. Let your light shine. See. Be yourself. Let your light shine. So the heart wants what it wants. Just one quote. <laughs> now if we you have like pina, If you like pina coladas. <laughs> and I don't know the next Dancing word. Dancing in the rain. <laughs> na, 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 na. <laughs> if you like pina coladas. Okay, we can sing this. Oh. I forgot what the first quote was that you were. So uh, let your light shine. Oh yeah. Um. So let your light shine. It has like you you write it out first in the, in a small way. Let your um, light. So you emphasize the words mm. that you really want to have stand out. That's like the main words. Your light shine. And so we have two words after each other. That's like in the middle. So in a circle you could do let um, your. And that's actually pretty hard because you do put I that in. I wouldn't read it. If yeah. You no. Did that. But like, depending on how many words you have, you could you could do it somehow. Yeah. Um, then another one. Let me see what we can do. Um, let your light shine. You can also do like all the the main words like be written out in a like in a different font. Like for example, uh, light. Like this. Um, then have let your and you see like you have spaces here and here. Mm -hmm. um, then you. S feel like either make that one smaller, let your light shine, and now you have two words still like light and shine doesn't have to be both of those words have to be emphasized. So you can either choose one that you feel like oh, this like shine should be the word that should be emphasized. Then you can still have maybe let's your now you might not agree with me here, but like um, light. shine and depending on how you do it with the like adding banners or something mm. like that that could help still ha have it read the right way yeah um, also because a lot of people will read like let your sh shine light doesn't make sense it's then like you would make it right but that's Yoda. not the best way hmm? it's like Yoda saying See? it it's like uh, may the force be with you How's something? <laughs> 
you would have the force be written great, but... Um, and then you just keep on going, and it's like, okay, like, I... Um, like, I emphasize it on shine, so why not uh, have, like, let's... Your... And then have maybe uh, light in here, bigger, light shine. Mm. And then, but then if you look at it, like, if you squint your eye, you see like how it goes all this way. So the weight is back here. So if you would put, have that in the middle, you'd see like this side is like a lot heavier than yeah. the other side. So either you adjust it by adding something like, um, adding a swirl, adding something that just goes back uh, here just to actually balance it out. So that's really helpful. Um, or you just start like figuring out new ways to do it. Like, um, like have it written out like this and then have light like that. And then suddenly you realize like, oh, actually this one um, works better. So now, now we go into a new layer um, just turn back the visibility here, go back here, and then just start uh, on the new layer. Start writing that out again, and which is nice because the the eye is split it up really perfectly. So you have all these elements here um, that just makes it well. The S doesn't really do do justice to the E, like in, si in sense of like reflecting, but that's okay. Um, then you have to think of just a little space so that the the lower um, wait I know that word I read it somewhere where um, you know that's the line that's like descender oh so the descender is here um, you can have that and then you can just move that around again maybe just go the baseline yeah this like, looks really good. And just from what I'm seeing. And then maybe just from, from here, you realize that like this space in between the L and the H isn't big enough, then why not actually make uh, use of like the H, like uh, add a ligature there, um, come back around here, and then just maybe move that around and then have that here, let your light shine. And I think I did that post ones where I had like a lights house um, in the picture. So I actually did that once. So you can go to my Instagram. I have like four sketches of that one post. Oh, cool. Um, but I didn't remember how I did it <laughs> except for the lighthouse. And you can actually replace um, everything like the eye here with the, the lighthouse because that's the form and of the eye. Mm -hmm. And it will work well because you can read it through just through those letters that next to it, uh, you can make yeah. it like a whole piece. Um, Sean asks, <coughs> what are your design influences? Sean Anderson is online. Yeah. Um, I'm visiting this guy afterwards. Oh, really? <laughs> so I'm going to LA. He's the guy that I go visit every year in LA. So oh. Sean, nice of you to say, hey. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was the question? Sorry. <laughs> what are your design influences? Uh, design influences, that changes every month or so like there are a lot of people like Jim O'Brien uh, that are just at the top of their game mm -hmm. um, that you just go in and you're just like oh yeah I know that one or I just follow that person um, so is it mostly from social media that you yeah there's yeah that I, I, I follow mostly but then there's also a lot of Pinterest there's a lot of just like going out reading books opening like advertisement wherever you are mm -hmm. like I did a whole video on just inspiration where do you find inspiration how do you like utilize it because just going out in the streets if your eyes are really set on looking at anything uh, then you will just see everything and you just like get pieces and bits and pieces like we looked at the the B you see those elements that you're gonna pick up you're like oh this is actually interesting and you put that mm -hmm. in your font library kind of and just add that to whatever you're doing so that's really that's really helpful and we had a quick question about your chalk wall. Ooh. Catherine asked, do you spray your chalk wall to set it? No. Well, how to set it? Like to make it? Um, 
I think she's asking if you spray it afterwards, but I think you no, just always take it down, right? I just always take it down. So I take a wet cloth, um, just rub it out, and often the, the, the question that I get asked the most about that chalk wool, like how do I get it that clean? And so the answer here is really just wipe it down like three or four or five times until it's really clean because like the first time it will leave like a whole like everything's going to be white the second oh. time you're just going to clean it a little bit better and then third and fourth time you actually make it look black again and the fifth time <laughs> might be the one time that you actually think like okay that's enough uh, i can stop here but how yeah, much time do you spend cleaning the wall as opposed to writing on the wall y you know that it's um well it's it takes me about half an hour to actually clean it but, wow. but you know Karate Kid? Yeah. You know the, the, the exercise? <laughs> wax on, wax on. Exactly. So I feel like <laughs> I'm learning karate as at the same time I'm actually doing like, uh, I'm actually washing the wall. So wow. that's a really good exercise. So if you want to learn karate or your kids, uh, if you have kids, you want to have a chalk wall, then let your kids do the cleaning and tell them that they're actually learning karate. And while Yeah, you do whatever you want on the chalk wall and then the kids can do their karate skills exactly. and clean it for you. But for me, it's really like, I think I'm learning karate, so every time that someone would punch me, I'm just like, oh, I know that <laughs> one. No, I just found it funny because it's just the, the motivation. Either you have the motivation to clean it, to yeah. create something new so it's it's big enough, but that's also one thing, like, that it's, it's too easy to procrastinate just because you know that... Um, the first thing you have to do is to clean the wall and just like, ah, uh, that hurdle, you have to get it away. Mm -hmm. So sometimes just like get up, do it, and and then have a clean wall and just keep on going. I like that detail. Good to know. You don't know this behind the scenes stuff when you just look at the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, yeah, a lot of people, and a lot of people also are asking me like how I actually am able to wipe off like what I've created. Hmm. And it's it's a question I understand, but I actually don't get because I love creating. And that's why it's like creating something, even if it sucks, it's like creating every day is so fun. It's like the whole process is more fun. It's like drawing out those different ideas, like chatting with you guys, actually helping me to create because I like I get new ideas. As soon as I get new ideas, I get pumped. Like I'm already pumped to to buy all that stuff, to to go to the shops, like get all the chilies, like throw them in the air, take pictures of it, then go back to Photoshop, like pull it out to, all together. Um, and that's the thing that I enjoy most because for a really long time, what I enjoyed the most was the outcome, like what I created. And if you only like that, you're really, for me, it was a really hard thing because if it wasn't great what I created, it actually, every project that I did sucked. And so the pr whole process sucked. But then I learned that like, it's a process, not the outcome that has mm -hmm. to be enjoyable. It's like, then even if the outcome is great, then you'll love what you do. Um, but even if it's not great, you still love what you do. So because it's my job now, it's my full-time job, I love what I do. There are days that I hate doing what I do just because you're not in the mood, but still you have to love what you do. Like you have to love the process. And that's exactly what that thing here is like, going on just trying out new things this yeah just experimenting like i don't like every stage of sketching but as soon as you hit an idea you know like oh like actually i want to finish that li let your light shine like adding that adding all those strokes yeah. and so that's that's what's fun and that's why i feel like i can always wipe off like a whole chalkboard without ever thinking about it just because i love the next part it's like actually drawing and i've taken pictures of it so it's okay <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you didn't take pictures, then that would be... Well, then that would be just for you. That would be also a really... It's kind of a meditative thing. Yeah. Like the Buddhist, the like mandala, they create this whole Peace. sand yeah. art and then they just blow it away. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like... Because then cleansing. it would be less about like sharing how, how like... There's a part where it's like you share just what you love or what you've created and it has something like it's it's about me, which is less about you mm -hmm. but if you really want to work on your skills on your craft doing something that no one will ever see but you just do it for yourself because you enjoy it that much means actually a lot more than just i don't know creating for the sake of like sharing it getting likes and comments um yeah so it's it's really a balance between doing that 
Yeah. Yeah. Krista says you're an amazing artist. Thank Follow you. you on everything. Thank you. Tash says you're very inspirational. So let's look at my laptop to see some of the submissions that we got. Ooh, that N. For the letters. Okay, so here's an N. Whoever asked last time about like the doing straight lines and mm -hmm. everything, see that's a style that would work perfectly. Like you don't actually have to make straight lines. You can incorporate that as a style and make it your style. So that, that's what I love about that. And I love the colorfulness. Mm -hmm. I love that the colors are not uh, respective to to the three dimensional it, it should be like. So that makes it look more like a uh, uh, illusion type of, uh, of N. But it's it's really nice. Well done. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. I like the 3D part of it. I like that it has like tons of light, different light sources. Um, yeah, what can I say else? It's still it's hard. It's cool to do the 3D. I don't know how to do that, so that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it's really. Yeah. I think the 3D part is better than the 2D part. It's also more. You can read the P a lot better as a 3D version than the 2D version. Hmm. I think it's because the the bowl of the P, which is the round part, is quite small. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't. It's not very proportional to. The stem. So yeah. if it was bigger, I think it would be more yeah. readable. That is a Z. Ooh. I think it's an L because it's from Laura. Oh, oh yeah, 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 totally. But you can tell it's an L once you know. But there is an issue yeah. of it looking like a Z. So you, that's good advice to like look at how it's similar to a Z. How you can make it yeah. more like an L. Do you have any advice for that? Uh, to make it look more like an L. Mm -hmm. I think the um, the ligature that just goes out of it, like the bottom part, that part is hard to know that it's an L because it could be a Z as well, like just a Z that's just longer, um, because the L on the top wouldn't ha necessarily have that. The um, I don't know how to say it. Z? A flourish. Flourish. Um, but I love the decorative elements. Like, yeah. If if you're not sure if people can read like you can be working so much on one piece that you exactly know that like you're sure that you can read it as an L and never take it as a critique that's a bad critique like at your work but show that to your friends show that to someone who has no idea what you're working on and show them like what do you see and and that way you can find out like is that am I working the right way like what should I change um, because you can improve always on on everything like this L would be amazing, like to keep on on adding like, like layers and stuff. Maybe just like take the top part off, like the flourish on the top, um, and it already looks more like an L because then you would like um, take away the mm -hmm. the effect that a Z would have uh, or a Z would have on on this. Yeah. But yeah, nice colors, nice nice finishing. Yeah. Nice touches. Cool style. Oh, that's a, a very impressive S. S. By the way, we have to pick a winner out of these, so keep in mind. That's good. Yeah, lots of patterns here. Yeah. I well, of like course, it. uh, it's like, do you know the foldable things where you like you you start drawing on one part, then you fold up, you have oh, like the next yeah. part, then you start the next one. That's kind of what I feel like when I see this because like, it has like three, really um, different, uh, different elements to it. So it looks really like a foldable piece. Mm -hmm. Wow, that one is really good. Here's a K from Kendra. Kendra, I like the I like the gradient. I like the flourishes on the sides, and even though like all the elements are separated, you can really easily see that's a K. Like that's that's the first part that you'd see. Like oh, yeah, that's a K. Really cool. That A, yeah. That's a beautiful A. Uh, with some flourishes. I like also the, the texture of of the A itself. Um, that's beautiful. It looks like it was just taken from a hand-painted wood sign yeah. like of a flower shop yeah. or something. Here's another L. Yeah, see that, that one was easier to see as an L. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it's running away. It's got a lot of movement. Yeah, like a tentacle is like <laughs> floating away in the background. No, I like that. It's a uh, yeah. What I like, I like the I like the flourishes at the back as well. 
Um, just the the lines. It's interesting because on one hand, I think like the lines are necessary, but at the same time, they add something to it. So it's like it's hard to know even if you had to add those lines at yeah, the back. Yeah, he means this. Yeah, the um, shadow line or just like looks like a 3D extrude or something. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure what's going on. It's so this. There you go. It's just like you you can feel that's it's it looks good and you, but you still don't know exactly why it's there. So it's like it doesn't it's not consistent through the whole just letter. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, somehow works. Here's a C from Emily. That's really nice. Yeah, that's a I love I love black letters. I love those old letters and I especially love the uh, the the flourishes. It just like makes it round. Um, like if you only see one letter, that's that's like a really good one. Mm -hmm. And she used sketch for that. Yeah. You can see here. Yeah, it's important that even though there's a lot going on, your eye is instantly drawn to the letter. You know what letter yeah. it is. It's not overpowered by yeah. the flourishes. Yeah, exactly. Like light flourishes. Here's a W from Nadia. I saw that one on the whale. Um, you were on. Are these still the ones we should be looking at? Yeah. Okay, because I saw that one just before oh, on really? the, the other live stream. Oh. Still, it's a good. It's, okay. it's a good W <laughs> with the the whale fins. It's a really nice one. Yeah. J. Have you seen this before? No, that okay. one I haven't. Whoa! This draws your eye in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's to true. To the depths. It, to the depths of the J. That's cool. It's it's. Well, the, the letter is really basic, but then just that uh, pattern just really makes it interesting, like drawing in. Mm -hmm. Also, very nice M with the the shadows and the, the overlapping. The the floors is at the end. I think it's a little bit too much. Like you could have stayed really simple with this one, um, and and just going down like that little part there. Could be a rose, could be well. It looks like a heart as well, mm -hmm. um, but it's hard, hard to tell exactly what it is. So that might be just be just the tad a little bit too much, like. Yeah, maybe tone it down a little bit to be more of the basic shape. Yeah. Oh, this is a gif. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Oh, I, yeah. love, I love distortions, so you just won my heart with that one. That's cool. Jen, I don't one. know if um, it's eligible because it's animated. Like the whole design is about the animation rather than yeah. the letter. Yeah. But we'll keep looking. Ooh, someone draw the it's short your version. Name yeah. Without the vowels. Stephanie. By Yuri. That's nice job, cool. Yuri. It looks like um. A little comic it's kind sketchy. Of like a, yeah, or yeah. like a tag. Yeah. Kind of it would look like a a sketch you would find, like an illustration you would find in a uh, in a newspaper, like the the type. Like that's that's the initial thing that I think of when I see mm -hmm. that. Like a comic strip. But I like the light touches around it. Just like it feels like it's a it's a real font that could be like continued. Mm -hmm. So you did a nice job on the consistency and the continuity of every letter. So you don't feel like one letter doesn't fit with the the rest. All work together really well. Yeah. Oh, so this is hand lettering, and then they captured the shape. Oh, nice, yeah. in, a, in Adobe Capture. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah, that's cool. There's So then these are the ones we already saw. Yeah. So we can go over them. The D. Again. That was texture, yeah, that was nice. Okay, so out of all of these, which one is your favorite? Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'm narrowing it down to, to two or three. So the first one is definitely the D. I love the D. Yeah. Um, the C was also really amazing. Whoops. So we have this D. This D. By Ryan. Which is really amazing. Um, the colors and everything, like the... Oh, what was that name again? What? Oh, the counter? Counter. Uh, yeah, the red counter. <laughs> counter. See, I, I wouldn't be even able to to learn all the terms just because I forget. <laughs> no, I would be able to. You can do everything. Don't let anyone tell you you can do it. That's important. 
So the counter, <laughs> I'll remember that one. Um, the, so the D is perfect, the C. Mm -hmm. Emily, I think, did the C. Yeah. There we go. Emily Knapp. Yeah. And I think these two really cut it close. Yeah, but you have to pick one. I know. <laughs> Are you doing any mini miny mo? Yeah. Oh, well, if you do any mini miny mo. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right, now I want to ask people to actually comment which one do you like most, D or C? Ryan's D or Emily's C? God, I keep missing where Ryan's is in my lineup here. Okay, here it is. So you can just pull those tabs together and then just... I know, I should have done yeah. that. C, C, C. Ooh, we have a lot of Cs, we have a few Ds. Come on, let us know. Oh my gosh, there's so many. <laughs> Adobe C, C. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like they're kind of equal. Yeah. But C is coming out a little more. Yeah. Just because Adobe CC. <laughs> People love the Adobe. Uh, why don't we change the name of Adobe to Adobe DD? Like. <laughs> C. Dreadif I'm Plum. seeing more C, but maybe it's because I like the C more. All right. Well, let's go with the C. I like it because it's also hand drawn. It's uh, yeah. There's a lot more to it than just like layering it down. It's not that it's not good what he did, Ryan. Um, definitely both great. Like pick two winners. Definitely down to for those two. Mm -hmm. uh, pick one winner. I think this one is harder. Like for ex all all for those flourishes, which create like the whole shape. Like mm -hmm. I would see that on a book cover. Well, the other one too. I don't know. Yeah. Go for a Good seat. job, Emily and well Ryan and everybody that submitted. Yeah. It was cool you, to see everyone's so, ideas. Somebody said you should never give like a um, participation medal to everyone <laughs> because we're not that, we shouldn't do that. But you still created something, you shared something. So you're winner over all those who didn't do anything. Yes. So it's but not But I saw a lot of comments that they were excited that we were actually giving feedback. Yeah. Instead of just saying, oh, good job, good job, good yeah. job. Like, it's important to receive the feedback oh, yeah, of definitely. what you can improve. So, yeah. And and see it, like see feedback as, as something you can improve on, that you can change. Like, don't don't necessarily change the letter you just did. Keep that as as is if, if you don't want to work on it more. But what you can do is always for the next letter is like knowing those few elements. So that's how I learn a lot is not mm -hmm. by getting discouraged by just seeing one thing that I try to make perfect. But then the next piece is like, all right, so I knew that this letter wasn't uh, legible as an L. So I went to my friends, showed it to them. They gave me feedback. I could improve easily on that one. And before I finished it, I shared that. So that's yeah. something you can work on the next time when you're working. Cool. On Let's go to your iPad for one minute that we have to show what we're going to do tomorrow All right. again. In so, case people didn't see. Does it not? <laughs> it's rotated. Can I rotate that? I feel like you, yeah, there you go. There we go. All right, so. So this is what we, s we, I say we. This is no, what we, we it's, it's, a, it's a collective. <laughs> we all, and everyone on the, on the chat and who is watching everyone this, contributed for def sure. definitely contributed because like the the quote was contributed by someone do we do we write that nadia name? nadia and then we had like the the sauce and even the chips everything was contributed so what i did was only piece it together and mm -hmm. you helped me to actually do that by just helping so we all contributed so we effort. are doing this tomorrow uh we're continuing this tomorrow the same time right um, yeah. Same time. Same time tomorrow. One to three uh, Pacific Standard Time, and um, yeah. So all I got to do now is get a salsa dip, um, maybe a bowl, then all the chilies that I can find, and some chips, and we're gonna have a nacho night tomorrow evening. <laughs> after we have a sugary, well, no, actually before, because the next part you're gonna see is a lot more sugar and sweet than you think. So that's a little preview for the Yeah, it'll be next sugary. Year. Becca's session, definitely. It'll be more more than those skills that you see here, which is good, <laughs> which is really good. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for tomorrow because 
Where, do you know where you're gonna get your peppers from? I have no clue, but I'll tell you tomorrow. So, are we actually gonna throw stuff in the air of tomorrow? We are. Like right here? Yeah, or somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna set up the studio tomorrow. I don't tomorrow, know how this is gonna work out. But we'll see. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna have fun with it. Yeah. And we're gonna learn something new because I think like there's a ton of things that can go wrong with that, which is perfectly great because yeah, the more things <laughs> wrong. The more things uh, can go wrong, the better, the more fun you're gonna have because you're gonna be trying to fix everything on the go. And because real life, we don't have really much more options than that. No, we don't. But we were able to finish a sketch, to come up with a concept, and we're gonna be able to, do, to take those pictures tomorrow. And then on Thursday, pull it all together in Photoshop. Yeah, and that's where we'll see the final final piece peace so we only have a couple minutes left but thanks everyone for joining someone said that I should say goodbye legends oh yeah Mary oh yeah <laughs> can you say it no you say it well you have to say it too goodbye legends goodbye legends <laughs> you know why I say legends why somebody asked me why I always say oh legends. you always say that? I, I say like hey, what's up legends and I use legends not because it's it's actually really Australian to say to everyone legend. Oh yeah. But my iPad course is actually called, uh, um, no it's not my iPad course, my lettering course is called Let Letter Like a Legend. Oh, okay. So that's why I like legends, and it, I like the word legends, because it's actually, people are legends, people are, should become legends, and that's why I think like, Letter Like a Legend, everyone watching, you guys are legends. Yeah. So, you're all legends for participating. And we'll see you tomorrow. And stay tuned for Becca. She's uh, coming in a few minutes. I'm going to stay here to watch it. Yeah, I can't wait to watch. <laughs> Especially because there are a lot of sweet things going to stay there. So. <laughs> yeah. So after she finishes, we'll just eat it all. Okay, bye, legends. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, legends. <laughs>